don't want to bore you with the mundane details. Just promise me that you're going to sing your little heart out tonight. I'm sorry, honey. I'm, I'm just thinking about this. I'm as much in support of this club, and I want it to work as much as you do. And I haven't forgotten we're doing this for Duke while he's in prison. Every time I think about Duke, I think about what he's doing at that very moment. Warden's office, please hold. The warden said the chaplain is expecting me. Thank you. Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Duke? Anna, it's you. Hello. Oh, I've been so worried. I, I couldn't sleep at all all night. I, I was just calling the warden to see that you were safe. How much safer could I be than working here in the warden's office? Well, I hope you keep that job for the duration. Well, who knows? I just might go looking for a desk job when I get out of here. I can't wait for that day. Listen, you must be very careful. Yeah, and you must relax. You're going to drive yourself absolutely mad if you don't stop worrying about me. It's good to hear you talk like that. You sound so calm. Well, now, what could I do to make you feel this way for the rest of the day? Just keep talking to me. That's right. I gave permission personally for Angus Mackay to have a visitor. And please tell her that I'll be available to uh, talk with her afterwards. Your visitor will be brought in shortly. Who is this person? I don't know, but you'll know soon enough. All right. the rules but the warden i know the warden cleared you himself but uh, i can't leave the room Charles postmark. Port Charles was a city within my reach. And I waited. And I prayed for a way to take a leave of absence from my convent so I could come search for you. And? My prayers have been answered. My superiors provided me with reason to come to Port Charles. No. The convent needs to raise more money for our hospital. The mother, mother superior suggested that someone from our group come to General Hospital to check out their fundraising techniques. And I volunteered. Yeah. You all right? If you're worried about what happened to me before my breakdown, that's all in the past. 
gone, but life has been good for me. I've learned I can go on and survive. Despite everything that's happened to me, I am, um, I am all right. I am, please believe me. Do you remember that night? They tried at the sanitarium to make me remember, but I... I'm sorry, I won't ask No, more. no. I want to tell you what happened after that. At the convent, they told me that I should try not to remember the past. And I should put it all behind me. That's very wise advice. Except, Father, there's something I have to know. I have to know why you're in this place. I've heard so many stories and I don't know what to believe. How can you please? Please. Please, I have to know the truth. I'll only believe what I hear from you. Anna, I, I don't have much more time to talk to the warden. We'll be out here soon. Anna, darling. Will you give my love to Rowan? Yes, I will. She misses you terribly. Oh, and I miss you both so terribly. What is Robin up to these days? Well, she's, um, she's keeping herself very busy with, with Tony and Tanya's baby. And, uh, she's babysitting. I guess it beats homework, doesn't it? I can just picture her with the baby. She always was a, a little mistake charge. <laughs> oh, she has a new friend as well, a nun. Uh, a nun? Yeah. Strange duo, I guess. She's from out of town somewhere. Oh, it does my heart so good to be talking to you like this. You feel so near? Yeah, um, so, so far away. Hey, tell me one more thing. Are you busy? Yes. Yeah, I'm real busy. I got a caseload here as usual. Oh, actually, one thing that might interest you is, uh, Frisco's handling a very important investigation for me. It's, uh, possibly related murders, and we're heading for a breakthrough today, so you ought to wish Frisco good luck. Well, you know, you are way ahead of the game with Frisco on your team. Well, of course, so am I with Frisco and Felicia running the club. Duke was involved in all this, too. And that's also God's honest truth. Duke? Yes, he... He came to me with the money laundering scheme years ago. That's why he's in prison. Duke? Familia, there's something else I have to tell you. No matter how much it shocks you, it's something you should know. Wait. I need to ask you something first. People have been saying that, that you tried to kill Duke. I read in a newspaper that an attempt was made on his life right here in this prison. Also true. Father, please don't harm Duke. Please, just don't let anybody harm him. That's all I ask of you. This is, this is not necessary, Camille. Why do you say that? But I have promised Duke that I'll protect him. I swear it. But he was almost killed in this prison. I had nothing to do with the recent attempt. I'll protect Duke at all costs. What made you change your mind about him? You know, I'd give up my life for him. Duke is my son, Camelia. He's your brother. 
and he's been through hell. And the irony of it, his downfall came at a time of great personal joy for him. He'd found his true love. Her name's Anna Duvain. So everything depends on the handwriting expert's report. Come in. Hello. You see, Jake. The handwriting expert should be here shortly. Well, good. Before he arrives, I'd like some assurances. Can you take a seat? Lucy? What kind of assurances? Well, as you know, my client Lucy has been the subject of ongoing harassment ever since Frisco took on the Broder Holmes murder cases. Harassment? Let, let Jake finish, please. My opinion of how Frisco is handling the case stands. However, I do expect that to be over soon. Why? Well, I'm going on the assumption that your expert will reveal that Lucy did not write that threatening card. And on that assumption, I would like an assurance from you that Frisco will call off his badgering of my client. Harassment? Badgering? Is there any other words you want to describe the way I do my work, Jake? Harassment is not used by any detectives on this force. They do, however, persist in questioning their suspects, and that is an assurance that I can definitely give you. Yes? Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, Mark Wiley. He is our specialist on question documents, a handwriting expert. It's Jake Meyer, Mark, Lucy Coe, and of course, you know Frisco Jones. Um, could you please hold all my calls? Thank you. Now, do you have a report for us? A verdict. We are all very anxious to hear it. Well, I would, if you don't mind, like to take everybody through this in a visual manner. Uh, yes, of course, if that's what you'd like. I'll get out your way. Well, I'll just pull down our screen, and uh, as you well know, pictures are worth at least a thousand words. That's what they I'll say. give you a hand. might be getting into some hardball here. I just wanted to reaffirm that this is not going to affect our personal relationship. Yeah, I know. I'm a cop, you're a lawyer. We are going to certainly be tangling in the next few months, but uh, it's not going to affect our friendship. I promise. I, I, you can have my assurance on that. Oh, just checking. I'm glad you brought it up. How's it doing? Safe and secure, as of this morning. Shall we? Your secretary's out for the day. These are all your messages. Thanks. How's it going? Well, no complaints. Now, I was wondering, though, where Angus Mackay was. He, he didn't come here this morning. No, Mackay, oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's been tied up, I guess. He had a special visitor. I gave permission for his party to have some extended time with him. I see. Hold on to that number and uh, remind me to call him back in an hour. And, oh, I think uh, she'll want to talk to me when she's through. Gee. solitude in the convent that I need desperately. That's good. That's good. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased that you found your, you found your niche. What about you? What will happen to you? 
well, I don't know. I mean, it's not much of a an itch, this, is it? But uh, I, I feel we all get what we deserve in this life. I never thought that the next time I saw my father and, and my brother, they'd be in prison. Are you all right? Yes. I'm concerned about you. I'm fine. I live with good people. I have a very peaceful life. If I hadn't come into your life, you wouldn't have to go looking for a peaceful life. If I hadn't gone, if I hadn't gone searching for my real father. But you did. And none of us can change that. No, I, I destroyed you. Every time I think about you, it just wrecks my soul. Please. I don't want to think about what happened. So Angus knows you're his son? There came the time where I had to tell. It was in order to, to save another man's life. You said nothing about our relationship. You don't have to worry about me saying anything about that. And I trust you won't burden him with it either. He's suffering enough guilt as it is. No. No, I won't add to his burden. Duke, I'd like to see the warden now. He's expecting you. Where will you go when you... when you leave here? I have convict business to attend to in Port Charles. I'll be going back there directly from here. Yeah, I, Port Charles is, is my home now. I live there. I know. I've also heard from father and, and other people in Port Charles that you're in love with a woman named Anna Devane. Will you be marrying her? Yes. How is this time with a little... with a little help from the gods? I'm very happy for you, Duke. That will you tell the warden I'm here? No, you can... You can go straight in. He's expecting his offices. It's over there. Camelia, when will you be returning to the convent? Don't tell me you're so anxious to get rid of your half-sister. No, that's not what I meant. I hope not. This is the first time in a long while that I'll have both my father and my brother within reach. Now that I found you, I won't let you escape. some work for the warden in the prison library, going through files. Now, <laughs> uh, these are the ones you wanted if you'd give them to him, Duke.
I saw Camellia. I see. You seem surprised. You didn't expect her to leave here without seeing me, did you? Oh, well, day's been a surprise. Camellia's visit, I mean. You told her I was her brother. I'll survive. I don't know about Camellia. I know how hard this is for you. I know how hard you're trying to forget what happened. She says she can't remember. Well, that's why she says she's found peace. She's healed, Angus. You must believe that. Healed, yes, but... Yeah, okay, I know. There are some scars left. That's only natural. But she's found her place. She's found a place in the scheme of things. She's with people she trusts. She's with people that she believes in. Why did it have to happen to her? I don't know. And there's no answer to that. I don't know. And after it happened, I relived it over and over again. You're reliving it now, aren't you? Yes, I am. You're hurting yourself, Angus. You're being no help to your daughter. Why didn't I help her then? I wish I could help you. I wish I could help ease your pain. You gotta look ahead. You gotta look to the future. Think of Camellia. She's in good hands. She is in God's hands now. Sometimes God needs a little help. Well, that's true. He'll have it. I'm her half-brother. Angus, I will protect her. I will never let Camellia go out of my life. Not even after I marry Anna Devane. Their necks. Maybe you ought to take it up with the management. Good idea. I happen to know that person very well. This is a disaster. How about these flashlights for a centerpiece? Oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> you know, sir, I don't believe this. Felicia paid the bill before noon. How long does it take the power department to turn a switch? Well, you know the rules of bureaucracy. Never do today what you can put off till tomorrow. Mm. I know, and I feel sorry for Felicia. I mean, she just tried so hard to make this evening a success. I know. Mm. Forgive me for not jumping, but I don't have time or energy. Well, <clears throat> speaking of energy, sweetheart, I think you might turn on the lights here. The candles are a nice effect, but it's not really getting it as We're far as We're out of candles. Oh, it's okay. I just informed Felicia that she should turn on the lights. There are no lights. The power's off, or haven't you heard? I didn't pay the electricity bill. Was that a reassuring nod? I just got... I, I think that's uh, pure anger. Oh, I'm sorry. I did kill myself. We have no power. We have no power for the band, no power for the ice machine, no power for the Please espresso God. machine. We don't have God. any power. Okay, we're here. Anything else we can do for you? We got the ice. Yep. Oh, Bobby, I told us we I brought lots of candles. Oh, lots of candles. Bar. Great. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. great. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Whoever you are. Hello. Hi. I'm pretty sure I heard about the power situation. Hi. Hi. Anna, how did it go with Jake and Lucy? I haven't touched base with Jake yet. Well, I don't think your husband's going to be very happy tonight. What happened? Lucy Coe is under arrest as of now. Briscoe felt it from the beginning, but I'm afraid Jake thinks we've made a mistake. So it's done. Well, I have to say, I'm not surprised. I think I saw it coming. I want you all to know that Buzz Stryker is now in the clear. That's good. Well, that's a that's blessing. Great. Yes. And that means Terry's safe now. Terry and Patrick Bowles. I wish Jake felt the same way as you did, but he's very upset by this whole thing. Anna, do you think he's going to change his mind about defending Lucy? Oh, no. I doubt it. Could you please talk to him? She's going to get exactly what she deserves. Why should he damage his reputation? Bobby, I think that's something that you're going to have to take up with him yourself. 
Mr. Camellia. Oh, oh you sister. found our note on the gatehouse door. Oh, oh I'm yes. so glad you're here. It's it's all right for you to be in a nightclub, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's all right. I, I was here last night when everybody oh. worked to get ready. Then you'll stay. Yes. You oh, must have God. had such a long day. You were out of that gatehouse so early. Oh, yes, I had a, an, I had an important meeting out of town. Oh, hello, Sister Chameleon. Nice to see you again. You know, uh, my daughter is awfully taken with you. Robin, is a joy to know. Well, thank you. Um, while you're in town, I'd like to extend uh, an invitation to you for dinner. I think Robin would like us to become good friends. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Oh, wow, you guys are very good. Again, I apologize for... Um, the lack of electricity. Um, I take full responsibility, and I'm sorry we have to go by candlelight, but we're just going to let it be, okay? okay. All right. um, if you don't mind, we'll do another song, if that's okay. It's, uh... Oh, good. You want to sing along? Let's find something we can either sing together, or if you want me to sing alone. Oh. Hey. <laughs> the marvels of electricity nowadays, huh? Uh, First song I'd like to do with the band accompanying me is for my wife, dedicated to Felicia. adore each other. But there was a time when uh, we were together and circumstances pulled them apart. They kind of lost all hope. But they overcame that. And they got married. I think that's the happy ending that deserves to last forever. I can see how much in love they are. Mm. Yeah. They really are. You know, uh, perhaps having to overcome all that made their love grow. Mind you, I don't wish those sort of problems on anyone. I agree with you. Nothing should stand in the way between two lovers being together forever. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 